Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Dynamics 365 Customer Service Copilot. And I'm sure you've heard all about Microsoft's Copilot in the last couple of weeks, maybe even months. But the way that this works is Copilot is almost like a virtual assistant that utilizes GPT and AI to be able to help, in this particular case, the customer service agent resolve cases, uh, do certain tasks quicker, etc. I'll tell you all about it right after this. So before I show you how exactly Copilot works inside of Dynamics 365 customer service, I just wanted to let you know how this is currently set up. So obviously this is a preview, but the way that this works is that I actually had the ability to set up some data sources that Copilot is going to use. So in my environment, the only thing that I've set up is I have a bunch of knowledge articles that are related to HVAC issues. So any problems that people could have with their HVAC unit. Then on top of that, I was also able to point it to a few company websites or URLs. So I pointed it to uh, a URL of an HVAC company that had a, a lot of content on there. So it's also going to search on that website to give me an answer to any questions I might have. So as you can see, we already see Copilot sitting here on the right side of my screen, right? And you can also see that it's given me a couple of examples of what I can do. So you can see here it's saying, what's the shipping status of this order? Now, currently in this preview, it's not going to search for orders inside of Dynamics 365. So I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do is I'm actually going to show you how we can start to, as you can see here, ask a question to Copilot. But I also wanted to pull out here knowledge search so you can kind of see um, where it's getting some of that information. So for example, I'm gonna say, how do I book travel? That's one knowledge article I have in here. And you can see here, it's now getting an answer. So it's going through all of that contents and then it's going to put together this answer as you can see, which is not just copy and pasting, it's actually using natural language to put that answer together. And if I search here for travel, you're gonna see that this is actually the knowledge article that it's using, right? So you can see here some of this stuff, it is actually copy and pasting, but you can see that it's natural language that it utilizes for that. So the next example that I wanna show you is actually not coming from a knowledge article. So what I'm gonna enter in here is I'm gonna ask it, how does an air purifier work? And if I actually put air purifier here in my search for knowledge articles, you can see that I get a couple of HVAC and troubleshooting guides, but none of this has the word air purifier in here. This one also does not, so it's not gonna come from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. And again, it's looking for that answer. And here you can see that it's actually giving me information on how that air purifier works. Now, unfortunately, it's currently not showing me the sources in here, um, but that should, once we go GA, that's gonna show you the sources and then you would see that it's actually grabbing this from the website that I'm pointing Copilot at. So that's kind of how that works. Now, the other thing that's kind of cool is that it's actually understanding 
the entire conversation. So I'm going to clear this chat here and I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of showing you what, what I'm referring to, right? So I'm going to first say, how do I fix an HVAC unit if it is not cooling? And it's again, right, trying to go over all of these HVAC articles that I have. And now it's telling me, okay, you need to do this, you need to do that, go through here. So I'm just going to go ahead and respond. And I'm going to say, responding to the conversation, okay, so I replaced the air filter, cleaned the interior, and I checked the wiring, but it's still not cooling. So if you already replaced it, then you might want to check for refrigerant leaks, which is the substance that absorbs blah, 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 blah. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say that I actually found a leak. And let's see what it tells me it's probably not a good idea to fix it. Yeah, okay, so that's also what it's saying, right? Fixing that leak can be complex, so you should have it done by a licensed HVAC technician. So you can see that it understands the entire conversation, right? The other thing that I wanted to highlight here is that we can actually copy and paste this, this, this conversation or this answer, right? So if that's something that is re regarding an email or something like that or a chat or, or whatever, right? We're going to be able to copy and paste that. You also see this little information button that says, make sure this is accurate, right? This is AI, so it might not totally be 100% accurate. The other thing you see here that is actually going to allow you to say, okay, this was good or this was bad. And that's kind of how it also learns, right? Uh, giving you those those answers. All right, so that's kind of how that ask a question works from while you're not in a conversation, in a chat conversation, right? At any particular point in time, you're working on a case and then you can just ask that question to co-pilot and then copy and paste that into the case or as a note, right? That's kind of how this would work. Now, we also have the ability to write an email. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to an email that I have here and that's an email from Faith. Here you go. Faith has an issue with an oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on write an email as soon as this email loads. Oh, it already does it by itself, right? And then you can see here that there are several kinds of emails that I can pick from here. So I can say, I want to suggest a call, request more info, emphasize with feedback, etc., and provide product service details. But what I want to do is I want to resolve the customer's problem. And I think this is also, right, once this goes GA, this is also looking at case resolution notes, right? So let's just go ahead and take a look and see if we can actually generate a response that makes sense. So let's just give it a second here. All right, so I'm not sure why it's saying dear old, so this is probably going to be dear faith, so I can just change that right directly in here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you understand. You're having an issue. The light is broken. Check that the thermostat. So you can kind of see here that it's actually giving me a pretty good, uh, pretty good response email here. What I want to do here is I want to see if I actually broken lights if I have something in here oops email entity is not so I don't think I have but let's just go ahead and see here if I can find oh here we go broken oven light so that's probably what it is looking at now if I go back here I can also go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to start over and I can also do a custom email, right? So I can kind of describe what I want inside of the email, right? And then I can do that as well. I can also request more information. 
which is kind of cool, right? Thank you for reaching out to us. We apologize for the inconvenience and to help you, could you give us all of those things, right? And then again, I can say, oh, this is great or this is not good at all. So from here, I can then copy that to the email and then I can respond to that email. So that's pretty cool, right? All right. So what I'm gonna show you next is something that really blew my mind. I, th I thought this was just so incredible and, and so great. And this is really going to take customer service to the next level. So I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a chat here. I'm gonna do that on my other screen. And then we should see that little pop-up come in here into customer service workspace. And here we are. Here we have the chat request from Birdie. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say accept here. And we can now have that conversation, right? So I'm just gonna say, hello, you're chatting with me. How can I help you? And I'm gonna clear this chat. Now, I'm just gonna have this conversation. I am having Okay, having an issue with your HVAC new, can you describe the issue you're having? And the unit isn't cooling. Now, normally you would think I'm asking a question, so I'm now gonna ask, okay, how can I fix an HVAC unit that's not cooling? But I don't have to do that because here you see a button that says use AI to find the most recent customer problem and suggest a response. So by clicking this, Copilot is actually going to take a look at that conversation. It's going to try to find and identify the problem. And then it's going to, as you can see here, it's going to give me that suggested response. So I don't have to type in anything here. Right, there's several reasons why your HVAC unit might not be cooling here. Some troubleshooting tips that might help. I can read through this. Um, there we go. If that doesn't help, try that. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to say this. Yeah, I don't want to say that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to say this looks really good. Now you can see here that again, check sources. Unfortunately, it doesn't show anything but I can tell you that this is actually coming from my articles. Now, the other thing that you can do here is you can add some additional information. Maybe you can say, um, you know, they already checked that the thermostat is set to cool. I'm gonna say refresh that response. So now it's gonna update that response and hopefully take it out, right? That piece where it says, check the thermostat to make sure. Yeah, no, it's not doing that, but I would think that should it should do that. Um, and then I can actually, you might need to call a professional. Again, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna now send a response to the customer, but note here that I don't have to copy this and then paste it in here. When I click on this, it's just gonna put it directly here in my chat window. So I'm going to say, the customer is going to say, I did all of that and it's still not working. All right. So again, I can click here on this little co-pilot button. And again, it's going to look at the entire conversation and give me some additional responses. If you already checked the thermostats, this, 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 this may be time, uh, it might be time to repair the issue. In the meantime, you can try turning off the unit for a few hours. All right. So now the other thing that I can do here is I can actually get a response using web sources. Because like I said earlier, when I actually configured this, I was able to put in a couple of URLs here. And those are my web sources. So when I click on that, let's take a look and see if it can find a different solution on those websites that I configured here for Copilot. It doesn't seem to be doing that right now, but you can see here that 
I'm actually, it's actually looking at some of the RSM blogs. Yeah, of course, it's not going to find anything on the RSM blog. Uh, that's why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a response to the customer and I'm going to end the conversation because I want to show you something else. So I'm going to close this conversation and again, I'm going to start that chat. And here we are. I'm going to accept. Now it's asking me, Birdie is now asking me, why does the temperature in my shower keeps changing? So what I'm going to do is I'm again going to ask Copilot if they can help me with that. And it's actually telling me there could be several reasons about that. You want to might check if the HVAC system is functioning properly, yada, yada, yada. So it is actually generating this content currently, again, on my knowledge articles, right? But I can also say I want to get a new response using web sources. And the web sources are those URLs, those company websites that I actually set up. Uh, when I was configuring Copilot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at that website and hopefully it's also going to show me and it does it right over here. It's showing me where it's finding the content from, right? So you can see here, um, why does my, let's just take a look here. Let's just click on that. Why does my shower water temperature constantly change it it's actually looking at that article and it's putting some of that content together and then it's giving that to me directly here inside of dynamics 365 for customer service and then if i want to switch back by using the knowledge articles obviously i can do that as well i'm sure you guys see a lot of use cases for copilot with dynamics 365 customer service. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.